Alright, don't don't escape. Don't escape. I just need to pick up this No, not the not the live one. Live one you go over there. I'm gonna eat your your dead parents though, okay? I hope you don't take offense to that. You gotta give back to the world, you know? It's a circle of life. I learned it from Lion King. Alright, we are back to some more green project here today. And more importantly, you're almost done. Good. I could probably use a little bit of a snacky poo here. What do we got? We got some beetle skewers. We got lizard skewers. Your boy's been very busy between videos as usual. Got plenty of food. I even have fried eggs now. You see, my chickens finally started giving me eggs. So I'm not going to use all the eggs for food, mind you. We need to make some mutants today. I'm going to start our mutant farm. And, oh man, I showed this before I wanted to talk about it. Yes, we also have pigs now, so we could probably start a pig farm as well. So I'm excited about that. Let me first and foremost have myself this, uh... Worm skewer and fried egg, absolutely. We're actually having a legitimate breakfast for once. I mean, sure, we had a worm, but ignore that we also had a fried egg, so... A bit more breakfasty than usual, I would say. What do we have here? Another lizard skewer. Well, you go back to making some more of those wizard or wizard skewers, wow. Be beetle skewers. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not cannibals, we're not eating wizards. Um, let's go outside and let me show you what I've done here. I've been really busy and most important too, the big thing about today is not only building the mutant stuff and the pig pen, there's been a new update with a bunch of new items which we'll hopefully see about making some here today. But let me go outside and see how my farm's doing. I've been making a lot of food for them and... Chickies? Oh god. What happened to my chickies? No, no, don't even look at me, Falcon and Children's Chickens die. No, I did not. I take care of these chickens. Look at how much food they have. I can only imagine and assume that they die over time, which I guess would make sense, um, because you'd have to want to make more traps to make it so that you... They're, for they're forcing you to make more traps to catch more chickens over time, because if you capture, like, say, five of them one go and they, they live forever, um, it would be too simple, right? That's probably it. Well... And the upside, we could at least now make a little bit of fried chicken dinner for your boys, so he's not too upset about that. I mean, I, I do. I'm gonna miss you guys. You were very good to me. You gave me a bunch of eggs, so I appreciate that. These two are more on the younger side, but not, not by too much. They'll probably be dying pretty soon. Now, my rats. Look at these bad boys over here. These guys were small and tiny, and they're growing up to be huge. I'm actually a little bit worried about how big they're gonna grow because it feels like... Uh, <laughs> They're gonna keep growing and growing in this post-apocalypse, and then the rats will take over. I'm not sure, but those guys are huge. In comparison to how small they were before, they are really, really big bad boys. Okay, um, let's see about... Well, we got two piggies. I have... I, I did say for the pigs we would do the stone fence. It is raining. Oh yeah, I also made a couple more extra water collectors, so as you can see now, we have seven over here, and... Oh, seven over there, too. I got 14 now. Hey, how about that? Your boy's been busy. Boom, boom, boom. Shake that rump. All right, give me this in an hour. Go set up our pig pen. And then we have a couple of things to do. As I mentioned, we'll see about building some of the new things, but I also want to get the mutants up and running, which require an egg. And, oh, speaking of which, mm, if I want to make the mutant pig, I can't put all two of the pigs down. I'll have to go check my traps, and maybe we've already caught some pigs. We'll see. If we have caught them, then cool. We could just go ahead and put these down, but if not... We'll have to get back to that. You here? So, for our piggy fence, uh, I guess we'll put it right next to you guys. Yeah, it, it works too. There's enough space over here. I guess we could probably cut you guys out of the way. Just because, you know, I don't want any of this here. Can I don't... I, we, we can't build the, the, the pens on top of green grass, can we? I guess we got, I'm going to try it right now anyway. Because I would like to, like, you know, have, like, greenery on top of it, but I'm not sure if it's possible. No, they don't let you build it on green, unfortunately. It has to be this version, unfortunately. Hmm. There is apparently a la something we could plant in there, too, huh? Well, let's make sure... Nah, we, we should be fine. So, how much room do I want in between? Enough to kind of get around comfortably. So, let's go, like, here. It's kind of good. And we're gonna go five by six again. So, boom. Boom. Oh, don't, don't get stuck. Boom. 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 All right. Oh. No, we're, we're building above it. <laughs> I was like, that's the first thing you said, is the first thing you do. No, we're fine. And we'll also put the wooden portal here in the corner. Perfect. And there it is. <laughs> Alright. So, 
Biggies! I gotta go check the traps. For now, though, you will hang out over here. I said, hang out over there. And yeah, now you're hungry. Don't worry. Now I do. I don't know what the pigs will be for. Hopefully, they 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 breed and give me more pigs. Cause, hey, hey, food. There it is. This is what I do. I just I normally make all the food. I just leave it here because I know that if I don't do this, I'll forget to feed them and they will die then. So I just leave. I mean, leave everything. We'll come back later anyway. And what's good is that they don't overeat, so they only eat when they're hungry. So you don't have to worry about being like, oh, you didn't waste your entire food supply in one go. And then later you can just come over here and pick up the bags whenever they're empty, so... That's Falcon's sure way to make sure your animals don't die from hunger. My rats do need some food, as you can see there. So yeah, you see how there's some small boys? So I guess some, uh, some of these big boys gave birth, because I didn't catch all these rats, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, you see how they're small, and there's the huge ones? So I guess the rats are the same thing, too. They will eventually croak, too. But at the very least, they're giving me a lot of boys before they do. Can I grab that through there? Perfect. You guys need some food, huh? Yeah, I'll be right back. We gotta go check our traps and make some mutants. So I think we can make mutant rats and mutant pigs. We'll start with the pigs. Just go really big first. And you get to cooking. I'll collect you later. I should have rat food. Oh, I don't? That's surprising. Well, rat food is bags, corn, is it? And dried grass. Like, I've been doing so much of this off camera that I'm actually now memorizing the recipes, which is fairly impressive. If you guys know me, I have a terrible memory. So, the moment I start remembering these things off the top of my head. Oh my god, I remembered it. The moment I start remembering these things off the top of my head, you know I've been doing it for a very long time. So that's how much work I put in between videos. Right now, let's go and feed those Raticates. Start my own Pokemon League over here. <laughs> Nothing but Raditats and Raticates. Alright, let's see. Equip this. Pop you guys open. Easy there, boys. There's too many of you. I'm just- I just want to grab the bag, okay? Just want to- just want to grab the bag. No, I picked up the rat by mistake. Get off of me. Get it off of me. Alright. Sorry. You guys are still rats and kind of freak me out a little bit. Alright, so... I mean, we might as well just leave all of it here. There's so many of them. Oh boy. You guys have multiplied like, well, like rats. Oh, really? For the mutant, you need an egg? Oh, nice! There was another piggy here. So... Uh, that is a trap. I also have one over here to the right. I think I just recently cleared this field of all the goods. Yeah. Oh, you I need. I think I'm like two lizards away from making the extra extra large backpack. Um, pick up the, the thing so I don't strike that pig by mistake. Come here, you. Perfect. Okay. I think I need one more after this one. With any luck, that's the 20 you'd want to make the extra large backpack now. But if not, we just probably need one more. I think there's also one more trap. Here for the piggies. Uh, yeah, alright. And it's filled up too. Nice. So. Uh, I guess what I'll do... Instant replay, please. I guess what I'll do... I guess what I'll do is... We got five pigs. Two in the pen, three in my pocket. Yes, I fit pigs in my pocket. We'll put, um, two boys in there. And we'll keep... No, we should put one. I'll put one in there. And then I'll have two mutants. So in case they do breed, they, they give me, like, mutant pigs themselves, right? So, Biggie, go ahead and get some food in you. Very good. You're kind of like the third wheel, unfortunately, but hey. It is what it is. Maybe you guys have a poly relationship, you know what I'm saying? Pig slime is egg. Got it. Pig and egg. Very simple. It's that, it's that easy to make, apparently, a pig mutant, in case you were wondering. Just an egg. Random egg from a chicken. I'm excited about this. I'm not sure how this works. So, there it is. Don't chew it. That's not a chewing gum. Leave it in the sun, the heat and the time will make it hatch out. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be awesome. I hope we get to see it in this video. If not, we have to come back next time and check it out. So let's make one more. Very, very cool. And I guess we can make some rats too, but... I don't, you're gonna die? Don't worry, you're not gonna die. Stop being so dramatic. Now, here's a question. Do you think, um... <laughs> the, the mutant pigs will get along with the regular pigs? Because if the re if who That's it! That should be our last backpack! Come here, you! 
because if people told me if the, the, the chickens eat the rats, I, I probably think it's a terrible idea to have. <gasps> Chicky! How do you guys show up? I, I usually pick up, if I leave the eggs, they'll give me chickens. Huh. I'm not sure that's the case, because I always, I, I, there was no eggs here, you just suddenly showed up. Oh, what up? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about putting the egg. I think I should probably just make another, ah, whatever. <laughs> if they do kill each other, I guess it'll at, least, it'll at least be comical, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it's a huge egg. <laughs> it's a ginormous egg. Alright, well, it's said to just leave it in the sun. It's raining right now, so we don't have to worry too much about it, but we will at some point. Look at him, I can pick him up. Yeah, it's a little chick. You're not gonna, you are not going to eat it? Why are you so heartless? I mean, it's fine if I eat him once he's a grown chicken. I mean, I don't want to be, you know, a two-faced scumbag and be like, Oh, I can't believe you're eating a chicken, because, you know, I, I do enjoy chicken. But not as a chick variety, okay? Let him grow up. Let him have a little bit of a life first before we butcher him and kill him and... Eat his delicious meat once it's fully developed. I mean, right now you don't want to eat him anyway. It's, it's nothing but skin and bones, probably. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fatten him up first, you know? That's the grim reality. Uh, here we go. So, toolbox is new. By the looks of it, it probably just works as a regular wooden chest, but um, made with um, iron instead. A box for storing what you guessed. A box for storing what you guessed. We also have a kitchen fountain. Now, this is new. I'm not really sure what this does. A huge water container that is mainly used for the kitchen. Hmm. I kind of want to make that just to see what it's all about. Requires five... Ooh. Five bars. One stone developed thing, which I do have. Ten wires. I guess we can make that. Meat safe. Ooh. To store actual food. Instead of having them in um wooden boxes, huh? Uh seed shelf to put our precious seeds away. And the herbarium. The herbarium is used for storing your legal herbs and plants. So not your illegal ones, it's only the legal ones. Okay. Um let's make a couple of these. I guess we could probably start with these, because they kinda have the same recipe. So planks, hammer, nails, okay. Two hours later. We'll probably go into the night here. Curious about that mutant stuff. Alright, so we have that one. Next on the agenda is going to be down here. So we need to replace what? Nails with pliers. That's for the jars. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And we need to replace the saw with you. Herbarium. Okay. So two of the new things right there are done. I also want to get that meat locker, but for that I'm going to need the iron stuff. So, let's see. Meat safe. One unrefined, five bars, two grid, and the pliers. We have made, I think we've essentially made all three of the new cupboards now. Meat, herbs, and seeds. Perfect. Now, I... This is the reason why I want to move to the base on the east, because there's a lot more room there to put stuff. Right now, you know, it's a little bit congested here, I would say. So much, in fact, I'm not even sure where to put these new items that I think about it. Oh, it's actually, I thought it would be bigger. Hopefully you could store more, because I thought this was going to take, like, a, the size of the ore thing. But if it's this, then it works fine. We could actually put them in between this. Alright, that actually works out really good. So, the kitchen, or at least the meat locker, could be somewhere closer to the kitchen. Here, we could put seeds, right? And, or whatever that one was. The herbs. And here we could, oh, it's a small, oh, it's a small little guy. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Can I, can I just put you outside, maybe? I mean... It's gonna get wet, Falcon. It doesn't matter, okay? There's no water degradation over time. I mean, this is where I have all my seed stuff anyway, so I think it just makes sense. You know, plus it's really cramped in there. All right, perfect. You know, we could put ten seeds. I guess that's fine. It, it will... It will lighten up my, my seed intake over here, right? Because we do have... Yeah, we got five different variety. What about you? You also have ten. Mm, I wish they had, like, more supply, but... Or at least more just to put in there. And you're also going to be... Vertical. So... Can't put you there, huh? That's a shame. Put you there, but then you'd be blocking the ore. That just looks very, very... Uh, Ugh. Two hours later. Okay, so I did a little bit of um, finagling around over here because I wasn't too happy about the setup. I'm still not happy about it, but I'll worry more about it later. But I put the um, herb guy right over here. I put the meat locker here, which is a bit closer to 
this. What I'm planning to do, I'm not sure if I can move this, but if I could move this, I'd put this like right over here, move the ore machine there, and then put the meat locker right next to our carving table so it makes a bit more sense, but I'll see if I can do that off camera. I'm not sure if I can move this one in particular. But since we're almost out of time, what I wanted to do first was uh, make the backpack finally as well. So I had to unload everything first because we have to remove the backpack. So it brings us down to that, and this is what we need to make the backpack happen, or at least the extra large one. So boom, boom. Three hours, wow. <laughs> Hopefully my boy wasn't hungry or thirsty in that time. Now we're good. There it is. Ooh, baby, look at that. Doesn't really make sense. <laughs> it looks like his head. It looks like the backpack starts in his back, and it somehow goes through his neck, and then the top portion of the backpack is somehow in front of his face. Maybe, maybe if you're not too hairy, it works. <laughs> Let me try this. Because otherwise, it doesn't make too much sense. Uh, shape? Okay, there it is. That was only our hair. Okay, now, now, it, now it makes a bit more sense. That away. Okay. Now you're good. See, first it looked like that thing was cutting right through our neck and essentially decapitating us. So yeah, it's a big boy. So, let's see. I guess it pretty much covers just about everything for this video I wanted to do. Um, there's a couple of new things. I want to make that kitchen sink still, but we'll worry about that later. Let me see if, uh, no, the mutant eggs are still there. So, what I'm hoping for the next video... Oh, some of the rats have indeed finally died. Well, let me tell you this much. My protein is about to shoot through the roof because we have dead chickens and now we have dead rats too. There's another one over there as well. Alright, don't, don't escape! Don't escape, I just need to pick up this... No, not the, not the live one. Live one, you go over there. I'm gonna eat your, your dead parents though, okay? I hope you don't take offense to that. You gotta give back to the world, you know? It's a circle of life. I learned it from Lion King. Um, hopefully next time around we will build the, lesto the leftover new things that they've added and maybe our pigs or at least our mutant pigs will be ready to go and I also want to make mutant rats too. And we gotta make a new pen for those guys as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. This will be for my seeds, right? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. If you have any ideas you want me to try out, let me know. I'll catch you guys next time.